welcome to Fresh Kiss. I'm Tasha Palmer. So as you all know, Fresh Kiss brings you fresh of everything. Fresh music, fresh food, fresh artists. You all know it. So today we have a special guest with us in the studios today. She will be the one to introduce herself. So don't go anywhere. We will be right back. Hi everybody and welcome back. We have a special guest with us here at the studios and she's going to be the one to introduce herself. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. Okay, yeah. you're beautiful. Thank you so much. You too. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, please introduce yourself. Well, my name is Kadi. Um, I'm a Sierra Leonean, a talk show host in Atlanta, Chateau Katie, and uh, assistant medical nurse. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, yeah, that's a lot. I'm a mother. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, what's your mission here in Freetown? Well, I'm here for Big Sister Salon too. Yeah, I want to be part of the show, hopefully. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So why would you leave what you're doing in the states to come here to compete for this? Big Sister Farming Show? Well, um, first of all, this, like, um, the Big Sister this year, the theme is uh, No Woman, No Crime. Yeah, sure. And um, it's going to be different countries, um, West African countries, and Ghana, Nigeria, and all, and some other African countries. So I'm here to represent my country, you know. I, I You know, everybody keep asking me the same <laughs> question. Why, why are you here? You know, why do you leave all, you, you know, your, your work, your kids, and yeah. just come for Big Sister? I say, my country first, you know. My, com my country first, I'm here to represent my beautiful country. Oh, you know, wow. it's going to be a lot of African countries in this show, so I want to be part of it. I want to represent Mama Salon. Okay, so is it because you think there are better opportunities here in Sierra Leone than the likes of, of the states? Of course, of course. Uh, the thing people, especially we Africans, we fail to realize, America is not heaven. <laughs> America, yes. America is not heaven, you know. Um, sometimes in Africa we have so much stuff to offer, you know, than America. I'm not American, I'm, I just... 14 is to be over there, but I'm a Sierra Leonean first, and I think this is a big platform for me where I can showcase my talent and try to render service to my community. I want to give back to my community. Yeah. But can you please tell us a bit about your educational background? Well, um, <laughs> well, first of all, I attended. Um, and rural education primary school in okay. Hastings. I'm from Hastings, Ooh. born and raised in Hastings, and I moved um, to the city. I, I, I went um, independent from four, JSS one to JSS three, okay. and I sat my um, BK exam, and I went to Annie Walsh SS two SS from SS one to SS three, and then after I went to nursing school, and go to my um, you know diploma nursing. But I didn't finish, so I traveled to the United States. And when I went there, um, I went to a, a nursing school too. I did my nursing assistant. After my nurses, nursing assistant, <clears throat> sorry, I did my medical assistant. And now I'm in college online doing my, uh, I just want to switch a little bit, okay. doing my business <laughs> management. Yeah. All right. Switch is good sometimes. Yes, because the nursing <laughs> thing, I beg. Too much work. <laughs> <laughs> so you're here to have fun as well. Yeah, I'm You're going to, to compete, but I swear you're having fun in it. Yeah, I'm here every year. That's oh. the thing, though. People don't understand. I'm here every year. Every December, boom, I'm here. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's so good to be home. Like Yeah, no place like home, yo. <laughs> when I'm here, I'm so happy. I'm so, like, peaceful. Be, being around friends and family, you know, chill. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just... So good. That's why I'm here every December. Okay, so I'm gonna hold you right there. And so guys, you just heard from our beautiful guest. Don't go anywhere. We're going for a short break. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Fresh Case. Hi again. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me, how prepared are you for this particular big sister? 
Well, I'm well prepared for me to <laughs> leave my kids and my job to come over here. I think I'm prepared. You know, I know it's not going to be an easy task mm -hmm. because this is my first time being in a reality TV show. And um, I think I'm prepared. For entertainment here in Sierra Leone. Oh yeah, um, that's the reason why I started my talk show, Chat to Katie. Um, mm -hmm. You can go on YouTube and check it out, Chat to Katie Talk Show. That's the reason why I started it because um, we have good talent. We have a lot of talent here, but the thing is, the music, the music is not going out there. When I'm in the states, I'll go to the club, and the only thing you hear is American music and Nigerian music and Ghanaian music. Mm -hmm. You barely <laughs> hear a Sierra Leonean music. Wow! And we we have good talent musicians here. Mm -hmm. I can name a lot, like Emma Sin, famous. They can sing good, you know. Sure. So succulent, and you know, but you will never hear those music on radio or at a club, just salon parties, you know. And I want to change that, you know. I want to show the world that we have a lot of talents here in uh, in Sierra Leone. So that's why I started my talk show, and even even when I'm interviewed, like I interview Young Paris, um, Rock Nation artist, Jay Z artist, I I told him to feature, you know, one of our artists here in Sierra Leone, you know, and he said, yeah, I will come over if I have let him talk to my manager, I will come over and do music with them. It's the same thing with medical, you know. Anytime I ask them, do you know any artists in in Sierra Leone? They don't know. And it's so sad because we have good uh, musicians here. Mm -hmm. It's just that I don't know if it's the marketing or the branding. I don't know what it yeah, is. Yeah, because I was just going to ask you that. Because why do you think that is happening? That we have talented artists here in Sierra Leone, but people out there just don't appreciate us. They don't appreciate our movies, our artists, our music. You know, it's, it's mind-blowing. Yeah. Why is that happening, really? I don't know. I think it's the marketing thing. You know, people don't know how to package our artist. That's the problem. And I really want to change that. Do I want to bring you going to Yes, okay. I want to bring people. I'm I'm doing research. I'm I'm asking people. I even have this guy He's um, Italian Sierra Leonean, okay. but he was born and raised in Italy. His mom is a Sierra Leonean. All right. um, so I talked to him. He's talking about. I'm just encouraging him. You know, come to Sierra Leone. I know your 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 daddy is Italian, but your mommy. You have to come here and trying to um, build the, the 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 entertainment industry. And he said, yes, I'm convinced. He's trying to come over here to even build a school, a musical school. Oh, so hopefully, wow. yes, hopefully this year to next year, he will, I will bring him. He really want to come. He love the food. He love our people oh, really because his mom, that. yeah, his mom always talked to him about Sierra Leone, Sierra Leone. And he's number one artist right now in the whole Europe. Wow. He's killing it, <laughs> you know. So <laughs> I interview, I, I'm trying to encourage. I even have this. Nigerian and Sierra Leonean too. He's coming. He's actually coming next month. I'm okay. trying to bring people to come and work uh, with the artists over That's here. Good. Yeah. That's good. That's good. And um, in terms of the, let me say, the I'm sure there is a vast difference from um, in the states mm -hmm. to here, and there are not much reality TV show here in Sierra Leone just in um, this big sister empowerment show. Mm -hmm. So in terms of it, yeah, have you gone through the audition? Yeah, I went through the audition yesterday. What, what do you think about it? Uh, what the, do you have to tell us? Oh, the audition, it was successful. It was good, mm -hmm. very well planned, you know. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> so what do you think? Do you think you're going to go in? I think so. I have my possibility, I think, in my own head. Hopefully I'm praying it's great that wow. I'm going to go in because I have I have a lot to offer. And like I said, I'm here to give back to my community. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm here. That's why I leave my job. My kids, they miss me so much. But I'm here to render service to my community. You know, we can't just be on... That's the thing about we diasporas, okay? Mm -hmm. We Sierra Leoneans, we always on social media 
talking bad, <laughs> cause, cursing, cursing our president, every president that comes in is not doing good, you know, it's, they're stealing our money. I understand the frustration, mm -hmm. but we have a lot of them over there. They have PhD degrees, they're professional and all that. Come on, come home. Stop all the talking on social media. You have to come home and give back to your community. If you know the president is not doing what he's, he's supposed to do, mm -hmm. you come home and let's put our hands sure, together sure. and build this nation. This country is a very small country. The thing is, just really, we talk too much. We don't do. Yes. Like, we have to stop the talking. <laughs> and do something. Yeah, for we a have change. to stop the talking and let's do, you know, let's come back home. Like, a lot of Sierra Leoneans, they have degrees over there. They, mm -hmm. are, they do a lot of, like, even this entertainment. They are in there going to school for entertainment and everything. When you're done, come back home and let's build this country. Let's stop the talking on social media. Yeah. Let's, you let's know? have something to show for it. Yeah. yeah. So the viewers out there, they're watching you, and I'm sure they love what you're about to do. So you do by sending a shout out to them. Let them know that they, you need their support. Yes. Um, good morning, Sierra Leoneans. Um, I'm pleading. I really need you guys' support. I'm here to give back to my community, and I've been doing this on my own. I have um, students that I sponsor on my own for the past two years. I didn't even know them. This is the first time I met them. And um, I really need you guys' support. We can't do this by ourselves. We all have to come together as civil union to build this nation. Let's stop all the talking. Let's do more. You know, that's why I'm here. And I really need you guys' support. Be on board. Let's work together. And this place is going to be a great place. Oh, that's so sweet, guys. Anyway, Pocket TV is wishing you good luck in all your life endeavors. And thank you so much for coming into the show today. Thank you, guys. Do have a lovely day. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, so that was our big sister contender. And as you all know, we've come to the end of Fresh Case. Until next week for another episode, take care.